For me, the most rewarding aspect uh, would be um, the people, the people that I work with, the dedicated staff that are here for the ultimate goal of treating the patient and allowing that patient and helping that patient get back to the level of independence that is meeting, again, meeting that patient uh, where, you know, where they are. You know, you have a, a de dedicated staff. We have um, also large collaboration and resources um, that have also been very beneficial that makes my practice um, successful. Um, and also the accessibility of, you know, the nurses, the therapists, um, as well um, as the pharmacy, um, the pharmacy team, again, you know, being there for the patient. Um, I think we have a dedicated team, um, a, a staff, um, as well as the, um, the leadership team, uh, which makes the environment very pleasant um, to work with. Um, again, with that ultimate goal of being there for the patient and also providing that patient-centered care. Uh, I think um, also knowing that dedication of our, of our team, it has allowed the ability to, you know, for that patient to be successful uh, and being able to alter um, that therapy plan um, because we all realize that, yes, you might set a goal initially, but those goals sometimes could be altered and we all collaborate um, very effectively um, and communicate in, to make sure that patient has, you know, what he or she needs. Um, I would also say it doesn't end here. You know, oftentimes uh, our case managers are heavily involved in making sure that our patients have a smooth transition back into the community or that next step. Um, so um, for me on a personal level, you know, really taking that deeper dive um, in the social determinants of health and which Encompass Health um, has done a tremendous job in into trying to provide, again, keeping those patients um, out of the hospital and into the community.